morning to you. Thank you for tuning in. I would like to say again, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Who Told You Show. I am your host, Minister Claudette Embry, and I am so glad that you just stopped by and visited us. And, you know, I have a very special show for you, so um, hurry up and go and get your Bibles because I brought some guests with me, and today we are going to talk about prayer. This is our prayer campaign for this TV show, uh, 2016 Prayer camp Campaign. And right now, I would like to really, really go ahead and get started uh, making my acknowledgments, my acknowledgments right now. Uh, Dr. Marjorie Wilson, she is the visionary of the Who Told You Show. God bless you, Dr. Marjorie Wilson. I would like to acknowledge my pastors, Bishop Ben and Dr. Cherise Jabert of Detroit World Outreach. Praise God for you. Also, Minister Antone Bell of BGN TV Gospel Network. He's a blessing to this show. And certainly, um, our uh, sponsor, Women with the Mandate. Thank God for Women with the Mandate because you will get a chance to see uh, my guests because we are Women with the Mandate. And again, God bless you. Thank you. You know, Who Told You Show airs every Sunday, but if you would like to tune in to my show on fourth Sundays, 1030 in the morning on Comcast Cable, channel 2090. Again, I air every fourth Sunday on Comcast Cable, channel 2090 the Who Told You Show. Amen. Praise God. And I would like to open up in prayer. And after I open up in prayer, I'm going to introduce my guest to you in the name of Jesus. So I ask that you bow your head. Amen and amen. Father God, I just truly thank you. Father God, I truly honor you. I bless you, Lord God, for the people, Lord God, that you have me to minister to. Lord God, I humble myself before you. None of me, but truly all of you, that you shall be lifted up and glorified. Father God, I ask that you think through my mind and speak through my lips. And even my guests, Father God, think through their minds and speak through their lips right now, Lord God, what we will have to say concerning prayer, because prayer is definitely on your mind. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. You know what? I would like to uh, introduce my guest to you. First of all, to my left, we have a returning guest, which is <laughs> Minister Darlene Carol Dixon. She's been with us before on the Who Told You show. And um, I would like to turn it over to Darlene so she can just say hello to you all. Amen. Hello, everyone. It's good to be back with you, Minister Claudette. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Darlene Carol Dixon, and I'm the um, CEO of Manifold Grace Publishing House. And I'm honored to be back here to talk about one of my favorite things, prayer. Prayer, because we definitely will talk. And you know what, audience, we're going to talk about prayer, but guess what? We will pray Amen. at the end of the show. We will go forth in prayer. All right, and I have a newbie. Uh, to my right, her name is Shamika Little with this big smile on her face. And so I would like uh, Miss Shamika Little to uh, give her a little introduction real quick. Well, hello. My name is Shamika. I am honored to be here on the Who Told You show. And um, I am a servant in the house of the Lord at Detroit World Outreach, uh, where I'm normally behind the camera. Uh, but today I get the honor of sitting next to these amazing anointed women of mm -hmm. God to talk about one of my favorite topics, prayer. Yes, mm -hmm. and hopefully I got a chance to say it um, in the beginning of the in intro that we um, all go to the same church. We are members of Detroit World Outreach, uh, part of the prayer ministry, intercessors, and why not talk about prayer? Why not talk about what's on our heart but not only what's on our heart why not talk about what's on the heart and the mind of the Lord Amen. not only just for our region but for the nation what is the spirit of the Lord saying what is our king of kings and lord of lords saying what is he doing you know prayer is very essential prayer is not just you know people going to church and screaming and hollering it's definitely communication with the Lord it's Amen. definitely a form of communication. Amen. 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 You have something to say on that? Because I see you getting oh. bubbled up already. <laughs> definitely. It's definitely a, a channel. It's, um, it's for me, prayer is the air that I breathe. Yes. Um, yes. It's essential for just living life. It's essential for um, being able to understand purpose, understand uh, what God is doing, um, and just really, uh, I'm telling you, prayer has changed my life. It yeah, has literally, yeah, yeah. even from 
the time when I was a little girl, mm-hmm. you know, um, mm-hmm. not really understanding and knowing what prayer was, yeah, yeah. but to come into revelation mm-hmm. of what prayer can do in your life is right, just, it's, right. it's, it's amazing. Right. It's Amen. dynamic. Yeah. So. Cause you know, when you, when you do that, one thing that I really got a revelation of that, you know, as we pray, we, we are intercessors. Mm-hmm. Intercessors are made. You know, that revelation really <laughs> hit me. You know, God has to make you an intercessor. Some people say, well, I pray, but they don't have the stamina yeah. to um, pray long enough, to, to pray long enough for a breakthrough. Amen. You know, they'll say, well, I prayed, I prayed, but, you know, when, when or you... Deep enough. Or deep enough. Yeah. And, and sometimes they don't have that stamina. So, you know, you may be born uh, a prophet, you know, mm-hmm. born and called to be an apostle, but intercessors are made. You know, and can you just expound a little bit on that? What does prayer mean to you as a prayer warrior, as an intercessor? I I agree with Shamika. It is mm-hmm. essential. It is like mm-hmm. air. I mm-hmm. find that if if I'm not talking with God, right, mm-hmm. I, things just don't go right. I'm mm-hmm. slightly off all the time, and mm-hmm. and that's because you know you give a first fruit to Him every morning mm-hmm. when you wake up, and you just thank Him for mm-hmm. you know being able to open your eyes and and see a blue sky and Mm -hmm. with all of the things going on in this world and in this country you know we we're at peace right now and Mm -hmm. we're safe he's kept us safe Mm -hmm. and so uh one of the main parts of prayer for me is really thanksgiving Mm -hmm. and i could really get lost in just thanking god for his goodness Mm -hmm. i have so many testimonies of of how much he has meant to (laughs) me Mm -hmm. and what he's done for me that um, in order to even go before him I've got to first just thank him Mm -hmm. just Mm -hmm. for being the king yeah and honoring us and ordaining me in this Mm -hmm. space and in this Mm -hmm. time so um, that that's one of the uh, joys of prayer Mm -hmm. and and I like you said to just thank him because some a lot of times we complain a lot and we also Most complain. <laughs> yeah, we complain. <laughs> and not only that, not, not, we complain not to one another or to ourselves, but we complain to God. We whine. We whine. Yeah. You know, I've had, you know, a lot of people, many people come to me and say, you know, they want prayer for this or prayer for that because things are not working out, working out well in their life. And God had opened the door, made a pathway for them. Amen. What it is, they're complaining because it's not the way... They, they want it. But they <laughs> they ask for prayer and they pray, but he opened up a door. Maybe God is, you know, saying I'm taking this person through this course or through this path because I need them to learn a lesson. Right. But instead, what do we do? We complain. We get upset with God. We do. And he'll, you know, I, I guess God says, you know what, I'm going to overlook that because you need help. And in the in the end, in the long run, then they turn around and they humble themselves and say, God did it, then they're bawling. God really did it. I didn't know. I didn't recognize. They're crying, you know. Well, you know, it's his grace and mercy, too. Right, right. Even when we're off key and Mm -hmm. off the path and Mm -hmm. out of order and Mm -hmm. we haven't done what we're supposed to do, he's so faithful to us. Yes. And his grace and his mercy are are bound to us every day. Mm Mm-hmm. And which is another point of thanks, because mm-hmm. even when we don't deserve it, he's right there. Mm-hmm. You know, that's amazing, because I remember mm-hmm. um, being one of those people that was always bawling and crying, mm-hmm. you know, with Thanksgiving. But I remember one of the first scriptures that I um, learned mm-hmm. was um, James chapter one, verse five, where it mm-hmm. says, if any man lacks wisdom. Mm-hmm. Well, I was lacking wisdom in a lot of areas. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was one that was always bawling because once God gave me revelation of something, mm-hmm. I prayed that scripture. I memorized it. I internalized it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. once he began to give me the revelation, mm-hmm. I would be the one that's bawling like, oh, my God, Lord, I can't believe how you <laughs> kept me, how you, you know, gave me this revelation or showed me how to get out of mm-hmm. this situation. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, you know. No, that, that's good. Yeah. That's good. One of, um, and since you brought up scripture, one of the scriptures that the Lord really dealt with me uh, for some years to help me to see that he was really hearing my prayers, he was really with me, was Romans, and I have it right here, Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 26 and 27. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself, or we like to say the Spirit himself, because 
he's not an it. The Spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts know, knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes or make of intercession for the saints according to the will of God, not according to how you think you should do it. So this scripture right here, and I'm going to ask Darlene if she have a scripture that really ministered to her, but this scripture right here, it really, you know, this scripture really helped me to see that as I was going into prayer, taking um, my prayers and my petitions and sometimes my complaints to the Lord, he was helping uh, me when I, when I would pray, when I would intercede, when I would go into tongues and groan. He was, he, that's him saying, I'm helping you. I'm making intercession uh, with your groanings. And then prayers got answered. The things that I was thinking about, looking at, they got answered. And even the things that I thought should happen, it just kind of, you know, like, it wasn't necessary anymore. Amen. Because he had already taken that, taken care of that. So, darling, do you have a um, scripture? Well, a scripture that I have just been meditating and, and every time I... I you know, have those quiet moments, it comes right back to me in the mm-hmm. second Chronicles seven fourteen. Mm-hmm. I think it's very familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, it certainly is on the circuit <laughs> these days with all of the things going on mm-hmm. in our political mm-hmm. system and in mm-hmm. our world even. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, people are getting killed all over the world for no reasons and those mm-hmm. kinds of things. But mm-hmm. if my people who are called by my name mm-hmm. Will humble themselves and so pray. We'll pray. So he calls us to pray, mm-hmm. and that's what if, if we want our land healed. Mm-hmm. But we we skip over some pieces when we quote that often. Mm-hmm. You know, it says uh, we'll humble ourselves and pray, turn from our wicked ways. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we've got some repenting to do, yeah. and we yes. we need to change yes. the things that are we you know where we're in error. We mm-hmm. need to change. Yes, we've mm-hmm. got to stop. And we've got to repent for them. Mm-hmm. And it says that when we when we do that, mm-hmm. then he'll hear from heaven. Mm-hmm. And he will forgive us of our sins yes. and heal our land. Yes. And so many times forgiveness is tied into healing. I know we're going to mm-hmm. talk about healing later. Yeah. But mm-hmm. um, forgiveness and healing often walk hand in hand because when you are in unforgiveness, mm-hmm. you close the door to all of the blessings and the healing that God has mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think about it, he gave his son that we could be healed and you know, we mm-hmm. think we don't have to do the same. We don't have to extend that forgiveness right, right. to someone else. So that mm-hmm. scripture it's just really been in my heart lately. Mm-hmm. It keeps coming up that we not only have to pray, but mm-hmm. we have to change and mm-hmm. stop being wicked. <laughs> Amen. That's, that's and it. then he'll that's heal it. our land. That's it. And we know he, he's quick to do it. Mm-hmm. But so, we got to line mm-hmm. up. So one thing I like about prayer, I think we're all pretty much saying the same thing. It's definitely... With prayer, communicating is communication. It's a two-way communication. Amen. Yes. So w- when you're um, taking time out, 15, 20 minutes to pray, some of us an hour, some of us two and three hours, you're communicating with your Father God. You're you're in a constant two, just like when you two-way com- uh, communication. When you pick up the phone and you call your best friend, you're having conversation on the phone. Right. You know, so when you're on your face praying before the Lord, you're having a conversation Amen. with him. Um, and, and, and especially when there's um, maybe some things or trouble that's going on, maybe with a family member. And and you, you, you kind of you, you really want God to step in. You want the Lord to not allow the judgment to happen for a family member. If something is going on or if something is going wrong, then you make intercession. And that's why I like that scripture, Romans 8, because it says, um, likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. So whatever things that we're going through, the infirmities that we have, we're housing, He helps us through intercession. Yeah. We know that John chapter 14, that was Jesus, Jesus' intercessory prayer, that entire chapter. Amen. He was praying for, he was praying for the, his people. He was praying for the world. He was praying, he, he, prayed, he, he went to God about all of us. All of us. Let me give you this um, real quick. Intercession. Uh, uh, Intercession means that I I wrote down the action of intervening on behalf of another. Um, The synonyms for that is meditation, uh, arbitration, conciliation, 
a negotiation. You're going you're negotiation you're negotiating, excuse me, with the Father God on behalf of someone else. On hoping that and praying that they don't get the full sentence that maybe they really deserve, you know, of something wrong that they did. Amen. Um I also like this other synonym. It said agency and diplomacy. So when you're in intercession, your uh, intercession with the Lord, you're now in his agency. You're now in the agency with, uh, uh, with the Lord mm -hmm. on behalf some, of someone else. I like to say that uh, we're like uh, lawyers as an intercessor. You know, an intercessor's job is not a lightweight job. Amen. Come on. It's, it's definitely. Not. Especially when you have people that you don't want to intercede for Come sometimes. On. <laughs> Come on. That's true. That's so true. But then that's flesh because you get right. caught up in looking at the natural thing and not being right. in the spirit. But as an intercessor mm -hmm. and being human at the same mm -hmm. time, sometimes you can look at a situation or a circumstance, especially when it's dealing with family. Mm -hmm. And you can Ooh, look like, Lord, I'm Jesus. tired of interceding yeah. for them. I don't see, I don't see any it. change. Right, um, right. You know, it, it's, it's amazing because it's like, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. when you're called as an intercessor, the Lord will say, no, go back. Go back there have been back. times where I'm like, Lord, why are you showing me this? I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, and he would tell me repeatedly, I'm showing you this because I need you to intercede for it. I don't mm -hmm. need you to look at the natural mm -hmm. right. situation or circumstance. I need you to intercede for it. Mm -hmm. And what I find to be amazing is that even as you begin to speak, God says life and death is in the power of our tongue. Mm -hmm. So it's like even as we're speaking, even if, though we don't see it in the natural, there is something amazing that's taking place in the spirit realm. You know, mm -hmm. there is impact that's mm -hmm. being made, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. I just want to encourage someone, you know, don't give up, mm -hmm. you know. Continue to intercede for that family member or right. that loved one or, you know, that boss. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's good. whoever that's good. it may be, don't grow weary mm -hmm. in well-doing. Mm -hmm. Continue mm -hmm. to press in and mm -hmm. uh, see the salvation of the Lord mm -hmm. because it had, his mm -hmm. word cannot, I love that scripture, mm -hmm. his word cannot return void. It Amen. cannot. Amen. So, and you mm -hmm. know what, I, what I, I'll say this real quick. What I like about that is when you said continue because there are times, sometimes we, we don't really understand and know and recognize who our God really is. Amen. And he <laughs> wants the intercessor because maybe he's saying, you know what, I'm getting ready to turn my back on that family member. But because you are standing in the gap, you are the advocate, you are the lawyer, I'll listen to your prayers on behalf of them. Yep. You know, so intercessors hold a weighty job. Yeah. yeah, because even there are people who can't pray for themselves Come on. for whatever yeah. reasons. Right, right. People who are bound, mm -hmm. you know, even unsaved mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. If we're not on the wall interceding yeah. on mm -hmm. their behalf, what? how will mm -hmm. he reach them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know what, this just thought just came to my mind. Sometimes people feel like, what's, what's the use? My prayers are not being heard anyways. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know, I'm still going through the same thing. My prayers are not being heard. Pain will make you do that. Right. Hurt, anger. Right. Oh, and not only that, offense. surely my prayers, offense, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Surely my prayers cannot be heard because I didn't get the mic. <laughs> I didn't get the microphone uh -huh. to say, come on, I'm, yeah, I'm getting started. I didn't get the microphone, so surely my prayers can't be heard because I'm sitting in the background. I'm, I'm, I'm behind the scene. They don't recognize me. Oh, no, you just really don't recognize and know the weight that you carry in the spirit. Amen. You know, we're going to you know at the we're going to get ready to pray because we wanted Amen. to kind of bring you all in to let you know we're talking about pray prayer. This is a campaign for prayer. Amen. And I just so love how God had given that to me before before we get started. I wrote the word uh campaign down because you really need to understand and know what the word campaign means because we are in a campaign of prayer, not just campaign on the campaign trail as politicians. But we are in the army of the living God. So let me give you this word. Campaign means to support or, a, or, suppose some, uh, or oppose someone or something or to achieve something. So we, we are here to support uh, our Father God in prayer, but we are also here to oppose what the enemy is trying to do. It's a campaign. It also means a series of military operations intended to achieve a particular objective. Now, that, that says a lot right there. Like we didn't know. One. Come on, yeah. <laughs> didn't know that the word campaign also meant a military operation. So as we get ready to bring forth prayers, we're entering into the military operation of the Lord. Uh, it said military, uh, the synonyms, military operations, maneuvers, a crusade, war, battle, and guess what? Offensive. 
So I come on. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that That's word good. campaign. So this is a prayer campaign for those for, for television. You know, mm -hmm. we don't take this lightly. I definitely mm -hmm. don't take this lightly. So we can really get some prayer started because um, we're on the campaign for the Lord to yes. pray, to intercede. Minister Darlene, her campaign is to pray for those that need healing mm -hmm. and whatever other healings for the city, for the state, for the nation. Minister um, Shamika's prayer campaign is for protection. protection, protection for the city, protection for you, protection for the state. What, what, you know, however God has given it to her for protection. My prayer campaign, I'm going to be praying for people in leadership. We have good leaders and we have bad leaders. We have indifferent leaders. But I'm going to be praying. That's my campaign. So as our cameraman is ready, we, we're already in the mood. We're already in the mode. The spirit of the Lord is here. The presence Thank is you, already Lord. here. And we're going to pray for you on this set. And we're not going to hold back. We're Amen. definitely not going to hold back because God has given me this mandate. Women with a mandate to pray. The word, one word about the word mandate means commission. So I'm commissioned to pray from the Lord. Amen. Y'all ladies are ready? Amen. You ready to get started, Miss Darlene? Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. My campaign is yes. about Thank healing God. today. And, um, yes. Yes, um, of course, you, we Jesus. use Isaiah 53 and 5 yeah. that he was wounded for our transgressions. And yes. By his stripes, we are healed. And that's the blood of Jesus was spilled mm. on the ground. And he bore pain and he suffered mm. so that we could be healed. And so, Father God, yes, in the name of Jesus, you, Jesus, we just thank you Hallelujah. and praise you, thank God, you, that we can plead the blood of Jesus yes, you, over every disease, yes, over every you, hurt, Lord, pain, Lord, Lord God. Thank you, Father, that you are the healer. Thank you that you sent your word to yes, heal us, Lord you, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we plead the blood yes. right now. Yes. God, so many people are suffering Lord, from Lord, cancer Lord. And, and disease, Lord God. Thank but you. we know that Lord, Jesus God. went around, his whole ministry yes. centered around teaching, preaching, yes. healing, yes. and delivering. Glory to God, God, so we thank you that the healing blood of Jesus yes. is available right now, God, to wipe out disease in our lifetime. Yes. We only Come need on to believe it. it. Yes. Come on we only it. need to believe it. So, Father, we just thank you and Glory praise you that our Jesus. faith levels Glory are rising right now, God, yes. that Glory we trust God. you like never before, God. Glory we God. thank you and praise you, God, Glory that God. your Glory word is true, Come on that we it. believe it, God. Yes. And if you would hand your own son over to death yes. so that we can be healed, yes. we declare and decree right now yes. that there are no diseases that can take us out. Yes. Yes. There are no weapons formed against us that can take us out. Yes. Glory to God. We can cast the devil out right now. And cancer is a devil. Diabetes yes. is a devil. High yes. blood pressure is a devil. Yes. So, God, we thank you yes. and pray. We take authority over yes. these conditions right now, mm. God. And we will, as in Second yes. Chronicles, we will yes. turn from our wicked Hallelujah. ways, Lord God, to, God, to receive the blessings of healing like never yes. before. Hallelujah. But, God, if we never deserve another piece of it, yes. we're thankful for your grace Glory and your to mercy God. Glory to God. that's available to us every day. So, Father, Hallelujah. we just want to lift up every person Come on now. right now. Your yes. hands should be lifted. If Glory you're in need of healing, lift your hands yes. and receive Glory the healing that's coming forth right Thank now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Because we have asked it according to your word. God, and we believe your word is true. We thank you for it. We declare healing goes forth right now yes. in of our minds, Lord Come God, on now. of our bodies, yes. of our spirits, yes. and of our very soul, Lord yes. God. Yes. We thank you for it. We praise you for it. Yes. And we say it is so it in is. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right, Jesus come on, Lord. Shamika. Father, we're gonna keep in the it going. name of Jesus, Lord God, I just thank you and I praise you, Lord God, come for on, the divine go protection, Lord God, yes. that you are releasing across yes. our city, across our state, and across this nation. Yes. Father God, thank we you, ask Lord. that you would touch, yes. Lord God, city council, in the name of Jesus, yes. the police officers, in the name yes. of Jesus. Come on. Father God, we bind up the spirit of murder, Lord God, that yes. has been yes. spoken, Lord God, that's in our city, Lord yes. God. Glory we God. declare and decree that there will be no deaths, yes. Lord God, upon yes. our young men that's in this city, Lord God. No. Um, 
uh, mistaken deaths in the yes, name of Jesus. Yes. Nothing mistaken, Lord God. No mistaken uh, releasing of their yes, weapons in the you, name Lord. of Jesus. God. Father God, I thank you and I praise you, Lord God, for every yes. warned angel, Lord God, that is going out into the city, Lord yes. God. In the name of Jesus, Father, yes. I thank you that you're touching, Lord God, our government, Lord God, Come touching on. the White House, Lord God, touching each and every person, Lord yes. God, that is, in, you, that is in a uh, seat of position, Lord God. Father, mm. I pray, Lord God, that they would have hearts, Lord God, that mm. would come after you, Lord God, to seek your wisdom, Lord God, in mm. the name of Jesus. And Father God, I just yeah. thank you and I praise you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you are touching, that you are healing, yes. and that you are restoring our land, Lord God. Yes. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that people are, Lord God, growing a hunger and a thirst after come righteousness, on, on, Lord God. On. Father, I thank you and I praise you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that there yes. will be no lack, Lord God, in come the on. knowledge and the revelation of who you are, Father. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you and I praise you, Lord God, for protection, mm. Lord Lord God, even in the in the schools, Lord yes, God, in the yes, malls, in the yes. name of Jesus. Father God, yes. I bind the hand of the enemy that will come to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I cut off yes. every tentacle in the name of Jesus that has tried to attach itself, Lord God. In the name of Jesus that has tried to yes, attach Lord. itself, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, to, to the seats of position. Mm -hmm. To the seats of position. But Father, I thank you mm -hmm. and I praise you, Lord God, that yes. your will is being done in this hour. Yes. That is being done in this hour in yes, Jesus God. name in Thank Jesus you, name amen in Jesus and father name. God we just truly lift up and we uh, lift Jesus up all name. those that are in authority father God your word says in first Timothy I exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority yes, that we made a le yes, lead a quiet, quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Father God, I lift up every leader. Yes, I, I lift up every yes. preacher, every apostle, every yes, prophet, every evangelist, every yes. pastor, every teacher. Yes. Lord God, I lift them up. I lift up every bishop, Father God. I lift up every elder unto you, Father God. Lord God, I, I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to touch them right now. Father God, the things that are out of order in their lives, Father God, you will bring order. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, the the uh, the finances and the resources that they need, Father God, to continue, Lord Lord God, going forth in their ministries, Father God, help them in the name of Jesus. Thank Father God, you. grant them wisdom, knowledge, and revelation yes, unto you, Father yes, God, as they yes. look in your word, as they minister to your word, as they study, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, if there, there are any people they they have offended. I ask yes, that you Lord forgive God. them, Father God, for any offense to your Jesus. sheep. Father God, I pray for a special grace, a yes, special Lord. anointing up on your ministers, up on your men yes, and women Lord. of God. And Lord, I thank you for it right yes, now Lord. in the name yes, of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you that you tuned into this broadcast yes, and we'll see you next time on the Who Told You Show. Amen. Amen. This is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicki Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. 
Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network.